Right. Let's try and pick the bones out of all of this. Sheffield Wednesday have just well and truly don't even know about put the cat amongst the pigeons with a win at Blackburn. They've thrown a grenade into the whole thing as their massed ranks in the away end at Blackburn celebrate. Wednesday are out of the bottom three with two games to go. Let's get across this and across the league table. So let's work downwards from Millwall. Millwall are safe. They are the only ones mathematically safe after this weekend, getting themselves up to 53 points. Your magic number at the moment is 52. Birmingham, you can see, have dropped into the bottom three and they could go on to 52 points if they win both of their final two games against Huddersfield and Norwich, which means Stoke and QPR are not quite safe. And look at their next two opponents, by the way. Southampton and Leeds are the next two opponents. But what we do know, particularly for QPR, who play on Friday night, if QPR beat Leeds, they are mathematically safe um, before we go to the final day. They could potentially be safe anyway, but they won't know that on Friday night. Stoke will, as they play on Saturday. They'll know a little bit more. They're in the mix with everybody else then again. A win for Stoke or for QPR in the next round. Tall order, they're playing Leeds and Southampton, respectively, and they are safe. You would think they're probably safe already with 50, but we just got to do the maths properly. As all the Sheffield Wednesday staff are out taking the applause from the Wednesday fans. They're very much enjoying their moment, and so they should. Still, plenty of work to do for Wednesday, as we'll come on to in a minute, but well played, Danny Roll. I think it might be the first time they've been outside of the bottom three since August, someone was saying in the chat. Blackburn, my God. So look at Blackburn, 19th. This was their moment today. If Blackburn had won today against Sheffield Wednesday, they would have gone on to 52 points. Wednesday obviously would have been three points further back. The maximum upside from the bottom three would have been 50, and Blackburn would have been safe with 52. But if Buts and maybes. That is not the scenario that we have just seen play out. So Blackburn are still in trouble. Big trouble, in fact, because they've got Coventry, Blackburn, and um, who did Blackburn play on the final decks? Leicester, isn't it? So Blackburn are really, really going to be hoping, aren't they, that Coventry are done by the time, you know, maybe they win in the FA Cup and then lose to Hull in midweek and they're done with the playoff picture. By the way, if I just scroll up in terms of these opponents, Coventry could still make the playoffs. They are um, nine points behind Norwich. Uh, their maximum upside there, Coventry, is uh, they can reach 75. So Norwich basically need um, one win more, but that could change because Coventry and Hull play in midweek before these games take place. It's all going on. So Blackburn still need to get themselves probably another win from those last two games to take themselves to 52. Look, Blackburn might be safe. We don't know what Birmingham and Huddersfield are going to do, but we'll talk about them in a minute. Plymouth have Millwall, who are kind of on the beach now, and Hull, who may well be on the beach when we get to final day. So even though the Plymouth fans have been telling me, you know, it might be a struggle in the last few games, Plymouth's opponents are probably going to have little to play with unless they get a Hull City side who have gone and beaten Coventry, beaten Ipswich, um, and Norwich have maybe slipped up next week and they're still in with a shout of the playoffs. That's the lay of the land for Plymouth. For Sheffield Wednesday now, wow, they've done the hard yards, haven't they? Look at those last four games on the form table. Eight points in four games at this stage of the season for a team that's been in the bottom three for so long is massive for Sheffield Wednesday. Absolutely massive. They now have to finish the job. I don't much like their fixture next week against West Brom, but they go to Sunderland on the last day of the season. Can they get the win on the last day of the season to take themselves to 50 points? They certainly won't want to drop back into the bottom three next week. 
Um, but the fly in the ointment for all of this is Birmingham and Huddersfield. Birmingham have just dropped into the bottom three with that Wednesday win. But it is Huddersfield versus Birmingham at the John Smiths next week. So what that means is we are guaranteed to have a team go on to 47 points next week. Either Huddersfield will win and go on to 47 and they would overtake Sheffield Wednesday. By the way, both sides have got a better goal difference. So unless Wednesday get a point next week against West Brom, they're going back into the bottom three if they lose next week because of the guarantee that a Huddersfield win would take them to 47. A draw would take Birmingham to 47, in which case, if Wednesday lost next week, they would move past on goal difference. A Birmingham win over Huddersfield would take Birmingham to 49. Huddersfield could potentially be relegated next week. And the scenario there is if Birmingham beat Huddersfield, then Huddersfield would not be able to catch Birmingham because they would go to 49 points. So you'd have a five-point gap with one game to play. You would also need Wednesday to score a point against West Brom. So let me make that clear. If I didn't, um, if Huddersfield lose to Birmingham next week and Sheffield Wednesday get one point or more against West Brom, Huddersfield will be relegated next week. So much of this depends on that game. And it's almost good because we have um, these scenarios in the um, relegation race. And I always say there is no relegation race, survival race, if the sides below the line don't score any points. We cannot have that next week because the two sides who are 22nd and 23rd are playing each other. We are guaranteed that either both Huddersfield and Birmingham score a point next week or Huddersfield get three and move to 47 or Birmingham get three and move to 49. So if you're a Plymouth fan or a Blackburn fan and you're, you know, in years gone by, it could have been, oh, well, they could both lose, you know, could get free hit that week. There is no free hit next week because Birmingham and Huddersfield, there's guaranteed to be some points scored. You just can't call it at the moment. You just, just cannot call it. Look at the fixtures over on the right-hand side. We'll work our way down. Stoke play Southampton. Tricky. QPR play Leeds on the TV on Friday night. Tricky. Blackburn play Coventry. We don't know what the state of play is going to be for Coventry by that point. Coventry play twice. Uh, the time, by the way, is 2.45. Coventry play in the FA Cup semi-final. Very, very soon. And then Coventry will play on Wednesday night at home to Hull. So by that point, Coventry, I'll scroll up one more time, could be uh, three points closer to the playoffs with um, the game in hand. Or it could be done, couldn't it? If Hull, have, if Hull beat Coventry, Coventry would be nine points away with three games to play. Norwich would just have to score one point in the last two games in West Brom, indeed, obviously, they're tied up there on 72 points. Again, going back to the fixtures, Plymouth play Millwall. And that game is at Millwall. Um, things would be different if maybe it was at Plymouth, where they've been much, much better. But um, tricky, tricky, tricky. Millwall are that horrible combination of on the beach but on a winning run as well. Hey, maybe all their intensity will be gone, but Millwall have won three on the trot and they're going to want to... I mean, look, there's a crowd up ahead of them. Can they catch Swansea and um, Sunderland and even uh, finish, you know, at the top of the bottom half? So I don't know whether that's an easy game for Plymouth. Sheffield Wednesday play West Brom, but they are at home and they are in form, Sheffield Wednesday. And we all know Birmingham... Huddersfield. Someone said in the chat, it's got to be one of Birmingham and Huddersfield. And I think that's probably right because someone or both of them are guaranteed to drop points. They cannot both win next round because they're playing each other. And then 
it's anyone's guess. You would think it, we're talking miracles for Stoke and QPR to go, aren't we? Surely a four point gap and a 50 point total, surely that's going to be enough. Blackburn, well, they could lose the last two games and they could be caught. Plymouth, the same. Sheffield Wednesday, they're in form, but again. So it looks like we are two from one, two, three, four, five, in my opinion. We're two from Blackburn, Plymouth, Wednesday, Birmingham and Huddersfield. And the sensible thought says one of those two is going to be Birmingham or Huddersfield, particularly whichever one or both of them does not win that head-to-head -head next week. Sheffield Wednesday have given themselves a real, real chance. But again, we could be sat here next week and Sheffield Wednesday are, are back in the bottom three because they've got a hard opponent in West Brom and there is guaranteed to be points scored below Sheffield Wednesday that if Wednesday lose, guarantees they'll be back in the bottom three going into round 46. So this is not done and dusted by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to clip that one out. And what I want you to do down there in the comments, I know we're live on YouTube at the moment and there's loads of opinions going in, but I'll clip that one out for the main channel. In the comments, tell me who on earth is going down in this crazy, crazy championship survival race. And what have Sheffield Wednesday done today? by winning at Blackburn, they have caused absolute chaos down the bottom there. And this is going the distance and it could be anyone. Let me know who you think in the comments.